Hi everyone, so I have just been like so looking forward to share this video with you guys because um, this is uh, some new storage boxes that Diamond Press brought to HSN and they are Christmas themed you guys. So I have a Nutcracker one and I have the Poinsettia one here and I believe those are the two that they brought. So um, they did send these items free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So I know this doesn't look like, oh you know, <laughs> it's just a nice big box so I just want to show you kind of how they come packaged because you might think how is that a storage box so if you guys remember they had launched their storage boxes when they did their ultimate card making collection uh, not too long ago but what I'm going to do is open these guys up and um, go ahead and just bring them out okay and then we'll take a look as far as assembly it's super easy I went over it before and I'm sorry that my camera you know is in a position that's not gonna catch the whole thing but let me get the other one out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, they're really well packaged with a little, um, like, this foam to keep them well protected. Because, of course, they have corners and things you don't want to get damaged. Um, and, yeah, they're just packed in here. And all you have to do is just pop them up. I am just so excited about these, you guys, because <laughs> they're great boxes, first of all. Um, I picked up several. And... Um, what I'm happy about these is that, just looking at it, I already know it's my Christmas stuff. So, since I have the two different ones to show you, I'll probably do for my own, you know, stash here. I'll probably have one with just Christmas, and that one might be, like, more of a holiday, like, um, Halloween and, um, uh, Thanksgiving. So a lot of times I don't have as many of those in my collection as I do some of these other types. And so right now I do have the regular boxes, and they're labeled, like, holiday or Christmas. And so now I have special boxes for them. Um, three plastic dividers. Oh, and there's their theme that is so cute. So they have the red and like a dark green and lighter green. We'll check those out in just a minute. 20 of the storage folders, the labels, and then of course the box itself. And it's real easy. You're just going to pop it open from, well, I'll show you in just a minute. And literally just bring in those sides and bring this up over the edge. And I'll show you. It, it's kind of interesting look. So it's showing you to bring these sides up, right? And push this in. So this is the box. And all you're going to do is bring these guys in and then just latches in you know with the tape and that's it and then you have your box lid really easy um, I'll show you how I put away some of my um, stamps and dies and things in these guys in the pockets but let me take them out of the plastic and I'll bring the one look at the design on that and this is the back of the the lid so it's not gonna have a design just that dark green oh my goodness you guys this is just an empty box I do want to show you though when you get your pockets do not just toss these away um, they might be hard to see just because they're white and then the clear packaging sometimes you won't see them if they're tucked in there so just know that these are in with the pockets and I once did not think they were as you can see so even in the packaging it might be hard to see once you pulled these out so I don't know maybe that's just me <laughs> but just you know these are in with the pockets and um, look at the dividers so cute so again you can label your dividers you know the way I label some of them are like interactive cards or like slimline or if it's a certain you know floral or whatever it might be um, that's how I label the ones that are on the inside but this is the box itself it's inside our little lid that says Merry and Bright. Oh my gosh, look at the font. Look how cute. Super sturdy. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see how thick this stuff is, but it's really, really good. And so my friends here just leave theirs where they put the box inside the lid like this. You know, once they've made their box. And they just leave it open so they can access it. And then this helps with some sturdiness. So however you want to use them, of course, that's up to you. I do have the lids on mine. And I just kind of pull them out when I need whatever it is that I need to get. So, okay. So we have these guys here. Let me put this to the side here. And I'll open up the uh, other with the Nutcracker one too. I'm just... Ah, so pretty. Okay, so as you can see, these flaps are facing backwards. That doesn't even matter right now. All you're going to do is basically bring these out. Right? And then these guys that are tucked underneath, you want to bring them out flat. Okay? So let's just leave that the way it was. And these guys are just kind of tucked backwards. That's all. Hopefully you can see kind of everything. So just like in the picture, you're going to bring these guys out and you're going to turn them in. Right? So now we are going to turn these guys in. And these guys too. And you're already shaping a box. And I'm doing this kind of slowly and hopefully you can kind of see everything because I know I had seen some reviews where people weren't sure what to do. Um, that's it. You're just, you're just making the box. Of course, the pretty print is going to be on the outside, so everything else tucks in, right, this red area. And then you're just going to bring one of these guys up, right, on this side. And there is some tape. And all you're going to do literally is just peel this off. I always like to square it up and make sure that my box is nice and square before I really push it down, but 
in this video I'm kind of having to show you a different way so I just kind of hold it up like this I'm kind of looking at the edges and making sure it's right inside on this red line because there is a little bit of a lip on this one so just there and just there and I'll show you what that looks like on the side but basically when you push this in you that's about as far as you want it right so I'm not pushing anything in quite yet and on this side same thing just take this off and then just you know kind of square it up like I said this is gonna give you the spacing you need anyway so as you push it in there just kind of like I haven't squished anything yet and I just want to show you that the box has a little bit of a lip right around the whole edge okay and now I can give it a good squish and you can put your lid on and you should be good to go and um, I will measure it because I believe it's a perfect square I'm not 100% sure I'm so sorry guys that my camera is like right here how pretty is that oh my gosh okay let me measure the box without the lid let me take the lid back off and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the nutcrackers we can appreciate that one too um, and let's see if my ruler from like inside to this other it's about 11 inches just like 10 and 3 quarter inches and the other direction it is just about 11 inches so 11 inches by about 10 and 3 quarter and the depth it is or they are seven and a quarter just about well I would say almost seven and a half inches deep just a little over seven and a quarter not quite seven and a half inches deep okay so we have that and then of course you come in and you can put in your dividers. Now I have the word diamond press up in front. You can pop this out and you can turn it around and you can write whatever you want on it. That's kind of what I did with mine. I just um, used my label maker and wrote, you know, like I said, holiday or interactive cards or whatever it might be that I put in those spots. So you have your dividers. And of course I'm having them face the, the little plaque. You know, however you want. If you want to do it this way or the other way. And then you take your little guys. And of course, as you fill them up, they help you keep these upright, upright. Uh, I believe there are 20 pouches. Yes, 20 storage folders. Sorry, guys, that was a little bit loud. So there we go. And once these guys are full, I'll just kind of like go through them like this or move the whole section depending on what I'm looking for, right? So what I'm going to do is grab a pack of like stamps and dies and show you kind of how I do this. Um, generally, I use a... Um, a label maker for this part because I like that but you can of course just write on it so let me grab um, some packs and I'll be right back so I just printed out my little um, label and you know if you're using different brands maybe you want to put the brand name or whatever it is but basically all my diamond press stuff is in these so I already know they're diamond press so I just put you know Christmas treat bag whatever the name of the kit is that is what I do and so then I'll bring it over and a little tip on this guy when you're pushing these in if you just kind of push them in willy-nilly they might kind of want to give on you because it is paper it's a really nice thick cardstock but it is paper so what I try to do is I slide them in close to this top part so if you get them down here it gets a little bit tighter I just try to slide them in keeping it kind of um, of course parallel to that top part and then just push 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 and that's it so <laughs> I don't know hopefully that tip helps you out but that's how I do it and it's very easy um, and then I grab this set because it does have some different things going on. Now, I always keep my stuff on the carriers. Sometimes I'll end up popping them off. It just depends on um, what I feel like, honestly. <laughs> and sometimes maybe the packaging is a little bit big. Like, let's say it's on a bigger thing, then maybe you want to cut it off sometimes, or take it off, should I say. Sometimes I cut my papers down and I still leave them on the carriers. So this set happens to have these two. And I will put them both in here together and I am, you know, stamp sets. So this one's a little bit different because it has the two dies. Excuse me, a lot of times Dime Press has sets where it has two of these kind of carrier sheets and they both fit right next to each other really easily. This one has the one, so I'm just going to pop it in and I can pop it in like this. But if you want to do it this way, like I said, the other one, um, you can put two of them just like this side by side. Or if it's a larger set, it just depends. Again, let me give you the measurement for this guy. So from the very tip to here it's ten and a half inches and you can use the whole pouch like you know there's like a little stitch area here it's outside so you can use the whole ten and a half inches there and the other direction it is almost seven inches like six and seven eighths and you can use that whole height too because this piece is not stuck down it's not keeping you from putting anything up there so you can use the whole pouch which is really nice which is really nice thing are tongue tied I'll put my you know that one comes with um, acetate so I'll pop it in there too and then I always just put my instructions right in the front 
And that's just how I put mine away. I mean, obviously everyone does whatever they like, but that's what that looks like. So, and then I have them all there and I can just kind of thumb through and see which ones I would like to pick out. I am like you guys, super excited <laughs> about these. They're so cute. Let me put together the uh, Nutcracker one so you can see the pattern on that and I'll be right back. I think it's quite easier for you to see it while it's here. Um, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, oh, love it. Love it, love it. Look at the pattern. I mean, how cute. Look at the little nutcrackers and our little uh, mouse guy. I forgot his name. <laughs> you think I would remember. But, I mean, look at that. And then our little ballerina here. Oh my gosh. This is adorable with the dark green on the inside. Really, really nice looking. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this one together again. Bringing those flaps out. This one says Merry Christmas on the inside. Same color uh, dividers and stuff like that. It's just um, the different color on the on the outside here and what I love too is the white is a very like um like an off white I don't know if you see it's not stark white really really pretty okay let me put this one together and I will be right back okay guys so on this one I just quickly want to show you what I meant by putting this underneath I know I'm so sorry but as you can put the lid on the base and so it keeps it nice and sturdy and then you can just have this open have your dividers in here and your pockets and you can just kind of thumb through it so it still looks really gorgeous obviously they don't stick out the top the folders and things so it just looks really nice and clean from the front um but yeah so i will have the links there for you guys um thank you so much uh dime press for sending these items for review you'll definitely see them behind me here whenever um i do little images of my face <laughs> sometimes i say hi on camera um and Oh yes, and the um, HSN is going to be have the having the five dollar cart on craft day July twelfth only for that day and only on the craft items that you put in your cart for that day is the five dollar cart right so the five dollar shipping so just keep that in mind you guys this is just I'm super excited I can't say like. <laughs> Just look how cute. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll try to get some images for you guys. I don't know where I'm going to take these pictures, but we will see. And um, I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.